Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today is the day you've all been waiting for. We're doing Legacy. I'm so excited guys. It's been a month. I checked. It's been another month <laughs> since the last episode of Legacy and on a I'm so sorry. Like time just flies for me and the past couple of weeks have been crazy like midterms, homework, projects. You guys know the deal but that is why it's taken me so long to film this one. I had to wrap up Eco, and then we also started Not So Berry. Thank you guys so much for all of the positive feedback, by the way, on my first Not So, Be Not so Berry video. <laughs> it feels really good when uh, you get like a positive reaction to a new series. It's, it's kind of nerve wracking starting something new because I don't want to disappoint you guys, but I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it so far. But today, let's talk about the OG legacy. <laughs> I'm very, very excited to do this episode because we're gonna be marrying Felix <laughs> and moving him out and having another baby that is like our main focus right now is getting the 10 kids in one generation so yeah um what else what else what else what else oh yeah I checked the poll I asked you guys to vote on the last episode who you think Felix should end up with it was between Kaylin, Kay, and Kyla Kyla yeah and um K1 by more than 50%. So that's who he's gonna be marrying. She's the very anime looking one who has that like really off the wall style. I love her. I love all three of them. So I was gonna be happy either way. But um, yeah, so that's who Felix is going to be marrying. <laughs> we haven't really played that much with her and we haven't seen Felix with her like at all. And I know it's really fast and I know it seems like they don't know each other at all right now, but we kind of have to move fast in this stage in order to like make sure we can get the 10 kids. So yeah, you guys, that is what we're going to be doing this episode. More skill building, of course. Um, I'm going to be focusing a little bit on aspirations too. And then also I want to like uh, revamp the garden a little bit. Plant more of the plants that give us a lot of money so that we can like start <laughs> increasing our family value because we need a lot of money for the challenge, so. So yeah, that's what's on the agenda today, you guys. I don't have a Celsius, I have strawberry lemonade, which is another one of my all-time favorite drinks. Ugh, it just hits the spot every time. And this particular lemonade, I like to make my own, but this one's also really good. It's from Whole Foods, of course. It's the Uncle Matt's brand, and it's just their, like, sugar-free strawberry lemonade. It's really delicious. I highly recommend if you guys have a Whole Foods near you. And what else? What else? Oh yeah, it's the day after Halloween. Halloween was yesterday and I didn't do anything. I cooked a very fall-inspired meal. We had pasta fajol and pumpkin biscuits and then uh, we carved pumpkins and we watched three like scary movies. It was very low-key, but I had a great time. I hope that you guys had a great Halloween as well. And if you guys don't celebrate Halloween, I hope you had a great day in general. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Let's get into this episode. Okay, guys, here we are on the legacy lot. I'm so freaking stoked to be here. You guys don't even know. Looks like Charlie's very stoked too. He's just out here admiring the lot. <laughs> it's cute. That reminds me, I wanted to update the lot traits. We should probably do this every generation so that it's like, it, uh, it aids into whatever goal we're trying to achieve. So this one, something about this lot makes it great for reading. Sims understand more so they gain skill faster from reading and tense moods go away faster. That one's actually pretty clutch. And then we have the sunny aspect where they're energized, happy, or inspired. And then we have a covival, charisma, comedy, and mischief. Dang, those are all so good. Hmm, what are we doing now? Felix wants to max his photography skills, so... Maybe we should do cha-cha-cha. Natural light for now, just so that can go a little bit faster. Ren's doing video games, so... Ooh, video gaming and writing. So Luna's doing writing, so we should probably... Let's take out peace and quiet for now and put fast internet. Yeah, hopefully that'll assist us in a little bit little way. Oh, you good game? You good? <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, you think I could join the vampire club? I know it's exclusive. I'll totally fit in. Dorian, honey, I really don't think you'll fit in. Not even a little bit. <laughs> 
Okay, so calendar. We have egg day tomorrow, which is very whatever. We've got Bruce's birthday in three days. Oh my god, we get to see child Bruce in this episode. So stoked. And then after that, we have Felix's birthday. And then after that, love day, Felix's wedding, and moving Felix out to Strangerville. <laughs> I placed a wedding venue in Strangerville, and I also placed a house by... Evel Evelyn? Evelyn? I don't know. She's the YouTuber who does the amazing build. I placed a house for him and his new wife in Strangerville that he will move into afterwards. So all that's already prepped. I already did their wedding outfits because I wanted a lot. I wanted to fit as much as I possibly could in this episode because we haven't been here in a while. So yeah, guys, that's what's on the agenda. That's what's on the agenda. All right, well, let's head into the house then. Y'all, what's going on? What's going on? What's happening? Out? What's happening? Come also, on, I'm so glad that you guys like Luna. I was really nervous, but I, you guys seem to approve, and I like her too. I think she's pretty amazing. So I think we should just do some skill building for now. Um, so Ren, go ahead and work on your video gaming skill. Stella, what were we doing for you? You already did your magic thing. Um, parenting. Oh, wellness. That's right. Okay. Well, you can you can practice your yoga then. Charlie, let's see. Right, we maxed your charisma skill in the last episode and your cooking skill. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, we're just working on your parenting as well. My goodness, these Sims. Yeah, they're they're maxing a lot. I wish there was a way that we could work on parenting without actually parenting because <laughs> i don't think they can read a book once they reach a certain skill level oh dancing you can max your dancing skill you're almost to level five all right go ahead charles go and do that zoe oh are you enjoying your house now that you're a young adult are you just like vibing in here more <laughs> So, yes, we aged her up in the last episode, and the trait that she got, oh my gosh, yes, you guys, the wonderful whims things. This is going to take this Let's Play and just pew, take it to a whole new level. I'm so freaking excited. So, I think it was creative that she got as her last trait. So, she's a geek, she's clumsy, and she's creative. Very, very similar to Stella. She's got these two traits from Stella and this trait from Charles. She was a happy toddler, responsible, good manners. She's just a good bean, you guys. And she got the jester. Jester sims live for the moments of joy, humor, and silliness. Often, though, they are irresponsible, wasting time by playing around instead of focusing on their goals. I don't think that fits, but if the sims says, then the sims say. <laughs> A uh, weak bloodline. She also has a collector from the nature aspiration. And she also got the artist trait. Artist sims strive to create things of enduring value and achieve their vision. In many cases, however, the fear of not being exceptional prevents their growth. Interesting. Okay, I kind of like this because she got the creative trait. And she also got an artist bonus trait. Okay. Well... That's pretty dope. She was really, really active as a teen, but maybe now that she's like out of school and not in soccer anymore, she is going to focus more on art or maybe like the art of creating potions because she does have the purveyor of potions aspiration. So maybe she's just honing in more on her magic now that she's out of school, which I think is pretty dope. Um, let's see what we got as far as uh, relationships here. Yeah, so, hmm, she's in love with Paul, but they're not official. She's got a couple of friends, which is always nice. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I was reading the comments on the last video, and you guys make such a good point that if we do merge the fires in the compost families, then it would be really, really hard to keep track and make sure that there's no, like, you know family on family business going on there so i don't know maybe they just like enjoy each other's company right now i guess we'll see we'll see we'll see <laughs> okay um let's see what charlie got for his little tradey traits okay oh no oh shoot i didn't even realize he had this i had no idea from having negative emotional control okay <laughs> 
<laughs> so he got Innocent, which is actually really cute. Innocent Sims positivity and happiness has a great power to up uplift others, but they can appear very childish and their optimistic perspective causes them to be too naive. I get it because he's like very cheerful. So I think those two go together. And he also got the Jester. Okay. All right. What about you, Miss Stella? What did you get? She also got the Jester. Interesting. I guess this just like, it's a family thing. I'm not really sure. What is Sage? Oh my gosh. Sage Sims seek wisdom and focus on finding the truth in every situation. However, their knowledge seeking nature might cause them to think too much and not act enough. Okay. I like that. That's cool. <laughs> what about Ren? Oh my God, you guys. I'm dying. Holy cannoli. Look at how many freaking traits she has. Um, na 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 na. Innocent, huh? I don't know, man. I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. And caregiver. Caregiver sims are driven by their empathy and compassion to protect and care. Unfortunately, others can exploit their good nature for their own ends. Okay, I could definitely see that. Ren takes care of everybody. Yeah, she's just, she's just a good bean, so I could see that. All right, Felix, what about you, my boy? What are you off? What are you doing, by the way? Show needs flashcards. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be such a good pop, you guys. I'm so excited to see how many kids they have. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay. So, ooh, we can get conflict resolution going, actually, before he ages up. We should focus on that a little bit. So he got innocent as well, and caregiver. That's cute, but what is this? <gasps> oh, he's in a childhood phase right now. Okay, I thought this was like a permanent um, trait, but no, it's just a current phase that he's in. <laughs> so his traits right now are good and creative. So many creative people in this family. But um, we're gonna see his third trait soon. Luna, she, oh my, that conflict resolution is really bad. She got artist as well, which I love, and hero. Hero sims are eager to demonstrate the courage to prove their worth and confidence. Subsequently, they might end up appearing arrogant by looking for faults in others to feel good about themselves or pick fights. I guess maybe because she's hot-headed she got that. But um, I'm just gonna get her to practice her writing some more. Just like get a head start on that. Kieran, did he get any bonus traits for now? Not really, no. Okay. All right. Well, all caught up on that. And um, so I mentioned to you guys that I wanted to do polls whenever we wanted to find a love interest for a child that we needed to move out. And so since I have wonderful whims now, I thought it would be kind of cool to put all of the love interests and the whatever child we're trying to marry off into a room together. And then with the wonderful whims mod, you can scan the room and the Sims kind of decide for themselves who they think is attractive or who they're yeah who they think who they're attracted to so i think that would be a cool way to have like future children um pick who they want to be with instead of doing a poll but we'll see how that works out the next time we need to move move someone out and marry them off <laughs> luna i don't know i get the vibes that she doesn't want to be married but um we will definitely see We'll definitely see. I can see her like maybe living alone and just focusing on her writing. So that would be cool. Kieran. <laughs> uh, so he wants to have an activity table. I thought we had activity tables. Did I get rid of them when I redid the house? I must have. Okay, well, let's go ahead and buy one for him. I'll put it in his room actually. All right, there you go. There you go, my boy, an activity table. So why don't you come over here and christen it, hmm? Let's christen it. Draw two pictures while inspired. Oh, he's feeling inspired. So come over here and draw a vehicle, okay? Don't know why you're in a suit, but it's fine. <laughs> go, my love, go. Okay, and then Charlie, please come over here and dance. I need you to max that dancing skill. You're almost there. Go, Charlie, go, Charlie.
Felix, after you eat that brownie, why don't you work on that photo? Let's just take a photo now. And there you go, Ren, level seven. Level seven, there you go. And then you love, what do you want to do? Travel to the magic realm. All right, well, let's just get that over with then. Okay, here's Felix's photo. Um, sure, this works. Okay, here we go, to the magic realm. I was hoping that we could choose to bring Stella with us. I think that would be kind of cute, like Stella taking uh, Zoe for the first time, but it didn't let me. That's unfortunate. Da -da 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 -da. Was that the complete your aspiration noise or what? Yup. Okay. Can we um? Let's bring Stella here. Actually. Yeah, we can do it that way. Okay, darling. You can you scrubberoo yourself? Cause. Hold up. Oh no, honey, you're about to fall. Oh no. Okay, magic spells scrubberoo. Oh, what did you even slip on? Oh, you're clumsy. Okay, that's cute. Go ahead. Fall as much as you want then. <laughs> oh, her eyes. Whoa. All right, girl. Wow, you look in fit. What you been doing? Okay, what do you want to wear here in the magical realm, my darling? Let's put you in this one. All right, mommy, daughter, freaking spellcaster time. Excuse me, ma'am, I'm trying to take a photo. Oh my god, they both fell at the same time! Oh, if that lady wasn't there, that would be such a cute screenshot. Okay, I love them. They're just two, the two of the clumsiest little beans ever. Okay, um, so... She wants to win three duels against other spellcasters, so... Who just blasted off? Did you guys see that? That was interesting. Okay, so who can she like challenge to a duel? Why is everyone in Christmas gear? And who is this? Margaret Vitor, Elder, Sage of Practical Magic? Oh my god, all the OG sages must have died already. Okay, uh, magic. Mm, maybe we just need to introduce ourselves first. And then you, my love? Own a cauldron, know three different potions, reach spellcaster rank two. Okay, just come over here and get some um, experimenting done then while mama um, does her dueling. She's feeling hungry too. Is there anything in here we can eat? Let's eat a pineapple. Please don't eat the whole, that whole. Oh, that's disgusting, love. All right, can we duel against you? Heated duel. All right, let's do it. You're gonna win, definitely, darling. You are a freaking, what is it called? A virtuoso? Uh -huh. yeah. Go, girl. Go, girl. Go, 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 girl. <laughs> Stella, honey, get it together. Oh my god, she won! I did not see that coming. But good job, love. Good job. Who else can we duel around here? All of the sages are freaking elders. That's funny. Okay, her second duel. Hopefully she wins this one, because we're dueling for artifacts this time. Oh no, did she just die? Bro! Did our dueling kill her? Cause she freaking died, dude. Oh my god, that's so sad. <gasps> no, we lost. Oh, you dumb, you, you Miko. That's really sad. Rest in peace, Margaret. I'm sorry if our dueling, like, plead for Margaret, should we? I guess we should try. Aww. Dang it, it didn't work. 
This was a bad day. A very bad day to come here. Whoa, $22,000 for bills? Why so much? Oh, rest in peace, poor darling. Margaret Vitor, I wonder, I wonder who that was. And Luna got a call at home about it. Okay, we must be related to her somehow. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in our inventory. We can bury her at our lot. All right, here she goes again. Hopefully she wins this one. We just need to win two more and then we could go home. Did we lose again? What? All right, well, let's head home. We've been here far too long, pretty much all night. <laughs> we can always come back and work on their aspirations a bit. I can't believe we witnessed a death. Why does there always have to be a death? Home we are. So she just needs a little bit of food, so go ahead. Look at that, you've almost leveled up. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, what are you doing? Chat with Ren. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot, we need to update your room a little bit too. You are no longer a child. Okay, let's go ahead and do that then. I think it still have the same vibes, but I want to get rid of the dollhouse. Probably get rid of that too. We can sell that. What else is on the walls here? Yeah, we can get rid of these. All right, so she just needs um, a desk of her own with a computer of her own. So she's going to be a little writer. I think that's really cute. I know that Ren maxed the writing skill, but I think that um, having having another writer in the family will be cute. Like solely focused on that and that alone. Okay, and you need a comfy, comfy chair. Okay, I also updated the bed. I think maybe this should be... Dang it. I guess that. That matches. Mmm, actually not really. It needs to be like dark and moody in here. Maybe just black. Okay, that works. Alright, Luna's updated room. So, my darling, come and test out your new computer! <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Right. Practice writing. Ren. Where do we want to plant? <laughs> this garden is a mess, you guys. It's an absolute mess. Well, I guess the first thing we should do is supercell everything. Because I do I already know what I want to uh, plant over here. And that's going to be... Uh, no, not the lilies. Orchids. Look at that. $625 for one orchid. Yeah, that's a lot of money, so I'm gonna plant a bunch of them. Uh, I'll probably get rid of like a lot of the repeats that we have in the garden out here and to make room for more orchids. These snapdragons have been on this lot since the first episode. These are some old plants, you guys. So very old. Hmm, maybe this should be the area for the orchids. It's a bigger space, and then over here we can just put one of each of the plants that we had before, because we don't need multiples. So I guess we could do fruits in here, and vegetables and herbs in here, perhaps? Alright, so I did it. I moved- so these are flowers, we've got fruits here, and vegetables and herbs. And then I put our existing orchid plants here. We're gonna plant some more. And then in these little pots, I'm gonna do all quill fruit, just so this whole area can be quill fruits. And we've got a few trees and I'll do this whole potter, pot, whatever you wanna call it, plant potter, death flowers, so that we never run out. <laughs> okay. All right, so I need ran two, let's see. These death flowers are worth quite a lot as well. 533. Perhaps we should plant more of those as well. Alrighty then, Ren. Get to planting, my love. I hope you're in the gardening mood. <laughs> Charlie, did you max your dancing skill? My dude. Oh, you're reading to baby Bruce. Do I really want to break Not this up? Star. Honey, no! no he's me. drinking stinky juice! Please don't do that. You're gonna get sick, love. Oh my gosh. Uh, what do you need? You're hungry? Okay, Charlie. <laughs> Feed your child. There we go. Okay, Charlie, now you can come over here and max that dancing skill, please. I need you to max it, and yay! She's an A student now, but she didn't even go to school. 
Well, that's pretty dope. Oh, honey, no, that's not your bed. That's not your bed. <laughs> Why don't you come nap outside? It's rather, um, it's rather nice out here. Come over here and nap. Okay, wow, I told Felix to take a picture, and this is what we got, guys. A sel- a inconspicuous selfie. Alright, what else we got? Huh. This is pretty artsy, no? Okay, uh, what else? What are you doing in Zoe's house? Writing level four, Luna. There we go. I'm gonna get Miss Darling, Darling, Darling here <laughs> to experience more on her, uh, cauldron. Oh, oh no, did you eat something bad? Oh, poor baby. Kieran, what are you doing? What are you off to do? Talk? Talk with Bruce? What about- what about the picture I told you to make? You butthole, you didn't do what I said. There we go, Zoe, learning all them new potions. Oh, you can't get to it, that's why. Oh, and it is, um, egg day. We should be hunting, so let's go ahead and do that so we can maybe finish the collection. Wow, those spring decorations are bright. <laughs> All right, is everyone doing something? Ren's video gaming, Luna is writing. Bruce, what do we need? Oh yeah, you're hunting for eggs, but you're really, really tired. And um, it looks like we're gonna be able to max your thinking and communication skills, which is amazing. Oh no, she's on her period. That's why she's so uncomfortable. Okay, well, let's go ahead. How do you purchase them? Is it on the computer? Purchase wonderful items. Ah, here we go. Okay. What a cute bean. Going to town on whatever it is he's drawing. What are you drawing? A rainbow? Aww. So sweet. Still hasn't maxed that dancing skill, huh? Why, dude? Why? I forgot about the potions of plentiful needs as well. I keep trying to take care of people's needs when it's, like, not necessary, but we definitely need more of them. So, Stella Love, could you whip some up for us, please, so I don't have to take care of people's needs? <laughs> Why are you drunk? When did you drink alcohol? Drunk a potion brewing is probably not a good idea, but whatever. There you go, Charlie. Almost there. Almost. King! Oh my god, look at him and Ren go. For some reason, this family are dancing queens. Which is funny, because I... I can't dance at all. Sacruz! Alright, you can stop now, my boy. Let's do some parenting to Felix. Let's... Help with needs. Make a fun- satisfying chat. Let's do that. So, oh my god, you know what we can do to increase his parenting skill, which I totally forgot is like a hack? Bruce, darling, why aren't you in bed? Oh my gosh, okay, hold on. So once Bruce goes to bed, if we tell Charlie to tuck him in over and over and over and over and over, his parenting skill will go up pretty fast. I hope this still works. It's been a while since I've tried it. Oh, did you finish that potion? Okay, hang on, let me tell him to do this really quick. This was a pretty boring egg day. At least Bruce got to do some egg hunting, but... Okay, so, how's that potion coming along? Where even are we? Okay, here we go. Ah, yes, you did it. Bottle up all, and do it again. You know what? Maybe Zoe should do it. Actually, she needs to take care of her needs a little bit. Actually, no! Let's give her a potion of plentiful needs, and then tell her to brew up a batch. Oh my god, I got so scared. Charlie was being f feeling flirty, but it's just Stella that's in here. Phew. All right, y'all. All of the kitties are at school. Uh, looks like Stella's having a breadstick. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, did you brew that potion I told you to brew? Yes, you're so good at this. You haven't ruined a potion yet. I'm so proud. Gosh, I wish so bad that university and uh, realm of magic had like a like compatibility with each other so that spellcasters can go to school for magic how cool would that be like go to university for magic that would be just next level next freaking level all right who's calling stella 
Who is it? Uh-oh, Kieran's science experiment exploded and made a big mess? No real harm done. I don't know why they didn't call Ren, though. That's weird. Yay, finally some other members of the family are contributing to the garden. And look at that six-pack Zoe's got. They're just kicking a soccer ball in the house next to all of the glass things. Do what you gotta do. Oh, Zoe, how's that fitness skill coming along, though? Oh, she's almost level six. That's really good. Uh, oh gosh, Felix wants to invite over Kyla. Mmm, that's probably not a good idea if we're gonna marry Kay, so... We are seriously lacking on our collections. They're so weak. Oh, that's unfortunate. You know what we need? A scientist in the family. Like, really, really freaking bad. Oh no, who died? Who is it? Cameron, no, that's Stella's older sister. Ugh. Man, that's so sad. Ah, man, that's really, really sad. Now everyone's gonna be depressed. Okay. Well, I guess this is a good time to write. Write your feelings. Let's write a sad book. Oh my gosh, yes! I didn't even know we could do that, but it's very appropriate. So go ahead and do that, love. Uh, name of book. Her aunt just died. Okay, let's just call it Cameron. Oh, homie, you need a potion of plentiful needs so very bad. Who's got them all? Ah, here we go. Alright, so go ahead and drink that and then we'll take some more photos. Always in freaking Zoe's house for some reason. And Zoe's got three talent points that we can spend, so let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, wow, she level three. Here we go. Um, Blender arm. Definitely want that. Frugal combination. Chance on potion creation that all of the ingredients will not be used. Maybe we should just go the potion route, though. All right, let's do that then. So I'm going to go ahead and get him to invite Kay over, just so you guys can see her a little bit before they get married. Oh my gosh, and Kyla is hitting him up again. I'm sorry, girl, I'm sorry, but you didn't win the poll. Capri Capricciosa. I still don't know how to pronounce that last name, but whatever. There she is! Our anime queen. That's not the front door. Mention selfless generosity. Sure. Brighten day. Heartfelt compliment. We should probably ask her to be our girlfriend as well, because we need that in order to get married. Oh, but she's a young adult. Shoot, we need to age up Felix first. That's fine. So she's alluring, she's an art lover, and she is mentally gifted as well. Oh, he just hooked it up with the key. Oh, look at her, so very thankful. I think she's really, really cute. Um, I don't know what career path we should do with her, though, since she's really, really smart. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I guess we might just throw the life decider on her and see what happens. How's that sad book coming along? Looks really sad. Whoa, wait, what is this? Acquired the persuasion skill? Ren's new persuasion skill will help her to influence other Sims' beliefs and behavior against their mind? Is that from Wonderful Whims? Because that's, um, amazing? Charlie has absolutely no fame at all anymore. Oh man, that's really sad. That's really sad. He completely abandoned it, but he's just starting a stream for old time's sake. <laughs> oh my gosh, Luna already finished this book. She wrote an entire book in one day. Luna finished writing an entire book. The book will be added to her inventory for future reading enjoyment. Luna can also publish it. Just click on the mailbox. Yes, queen! Let's freaking do it. Let's publish that, 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 that book. Holy cannoli. Okay, let's get the mail. And then sell to publisher or self-publish. Grant a moderate amount of royalties. Earn a small amount. Why would anyone do a self-publish then? Let's just... Okay, that's really exciting. I'm very happy for her. Write two books, write for one hour, hour while inspired. 
Oh my gosh, no way! The most recent book that Luna wrote has been nominated for an award. Check out the awards ceremony Sunday at 7 p.m. to see if she won. Sunday at 7 p.m. Oh gosh, I guess we're just gonna have to remember. I probably won't remember, but... Oh well. So Bruce has mastered the thinking skill, all thanks to this little tablet here. And then uh, he also masked communication, and I think we can do potty before we age him up tomorrow. But where is the child potty? All right, here we go. So I'm gonna get him to go potty a bunch of times. My game is just lagging so bad. Oh my gosh. All right, you go ahead and work on that little one. It looks like Max is here and Silas. Oh my gosh, why? Felix, stop going in there. I'm tired of taking photos in this house. Actually, that's kind of cute. <laughs> don't really like doing this skill because it's hard. All right, there we go. We did it. We maxed it. Finally. I took these really ridiculous- yeah, I told him to take a picture of uh, Zoe and he went here and took a picture through her of her through the wall. I was like, okay, and it looks yeah. like she's brewing a distressing concoction? <laughs> That's so random, but okay. Did you finish that potion that you did? All right. Well, I'll let you finish doing that. Looks like Kieran's off to bed. He desperately needs it. This bean is so very sad from doing the potty. <laughs> it's okay. You're about halfway there, so keep going. Today is Bruce's birthday, so I think we're probably gonna have like a combined thing for Zo or for Felix and Bruce, which means we need a hamburger cake. <laughs> I actually have quite the funny story. Um, so I didn't have the hamburger cake before because you have to have the deluxe version of The Sims 4 to have it. And since I always say that Felix has a hamburger head, one of my friends bought me the deluxe edition just so we can have the hamburger cake for Felix. <laughs> oh, it's so funny but so very sweet. Thanks again, Cindy. All right, that's being taken care of. Ren is still tending the garden. Luna's sleeping on the couch. Where? What couch is that? Oh, that's in Ren's house. Hmm. I wonder why she's in here. She's still feeling sad, so I'm gonna get her to write another sad book. Because why not? It kind of fits her vibe. All the sickly horses? Okay, sure. Oh, poor baby. So emotional. She's such a babe. Yay! Hamburger cake! She's satisfied. Alright. Add birthday candles. Oh my gosh, we can copy and paste the cake. They can both have their own cake. Where to go? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh my gosh, and it even has candles on it. Oh wow, that is such a mood. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll just wait a little bit. Your distressing concoctions are all over the floor, Zoe. She's drinking it in the pool. And a potion of plentiful needs at the same time. Dang. She's like, I know what I need to feel good and I ain't ashamed. <laughs> Oh, holy cannoli. Okay, so what do you want to do here? Um, brew five potions. Okay, we'll keep- oh, here we go. Bottle up all. Let's do another one. Oh, and Bruce got potty level three! There we go. Okay, now I can put potty in his list. We're killing it. Yes, we are. And Luna's already at level six. Holy cannoli. I'm gonna say that so much in this episode because we are just like- We're doing so good, guys. We are doing well. Dude, this kid. This is the third time I've caught him in the graveyard <laughs> mourning people. Oh, honey, honey, honey. We need to age you up and get you out. Seriously. Do your homework before you go to school. Kieran, did you do your homework? I'm putting this kid on the back burner, y'all. Like, we barely hang with him and I feel so bad but honestly it's stressful taking care of eight sims I'll tell you what they're always flirting look at that relationship Charlie thinks Stella Campus is extremely attractive well I would hope so I really would 
but it's nice to see that you guys are still in love. What do you think about Charlie? Extremely attractive. Stella thinks Dorian is very attractive. She thinks Caleb is very attractive. No, don't pee yourself. Oh my gosh. That is a horrible time to do it right in front of him. Like, on him, pretty much. Alright, go ahead and scrub yourself. Oh, and she has a talent point. Let's spend it. What's this? Oh, we already have this. While in the magic realm, the sim is extremely powerful. They are protected by death from overload and can f freely build charge. Hmm. Magical discounts. Hmm. What's this? Either the spellcaster socialite or... Yeah, let's get that one, actually, because we get more XP, and more XP means more points. Boom, you're bossy. Boom. Oh my, look at where Felix is doing his homework. He's being so antisocial right now. Um, no, Luna should not skip school, but she finished another book. Okay, go to school, you're always late. Alright, so when the kids get back from school today, I'm gonna go ahead, age up Felix, age up Bruce. And then we will have the wedding, guys. We will have the wedding. It'll be a Thursday wedding or a Wednesday wedding. I actually really like the lot at night, so we might just get married tonight. Just to get things moving, get Stella pregnant again. Yep, all that good stuff. Se cruz. All right, guys, they are back, back in action. So, this maid has been standing here forever, so let's go ahead and dismiss him. Muna, oh my gosh, you need a potion. You need a potion. You need a potion so very bad. Hold on, I got you. We got 23 of them. <laughs> I got you, girl. Drink. Oh, and we can also publish this other book. Okay, we're doing pretty good with... Um, Zoe's aspiration here. So we just need one to know one more potion and level up one more time. So keep on experimenting. And how, how are you? You're almost there. Okay, very good, very good. All right, so let's go ahead and age up Bruce first. Actually, what's he doing? He's working on a, oh shoot. He's almost maxed his movement skill. Should we milk it for all it's worth? Try to get it up? I don't know, I wonder if it's possible. Okay, I'm just gonna get him to run around a bunch and see if, see how fast it goes up. Holy crap, 50 grand from that shrewd thing that she has, wow. That is just wild. Oh, look who's here. All right, well, Bruce is working on his movement, and uh, we're not doing anything else with Felix, I don't think. So I think we could just age him up. Oh my god, that conflict resolution, it's almost there. Um, Parents can teach sorry, help fix bad relationships. Okay, let me try and do that. Stop mourning, Felix, it's just gonna make you sad again. Okay, help fix bad relationship. Does she even have a bad relationship? Stella, nasty. Scrubberoo yourself. Oh, I wonder if he argues with Ren about music and then if he apologizes, perhaps that'll affect his conflict resolution? Okay, okay, I want to apologize now. I hate making my sims argue. It just like stresses me out. He argued with Ren and then apologized to her and it worked. Okay, well, why don't you come on over here and make a wish. Let's freaking age you up. Let me just refresh myself on what you have here. Sorry, let me write it down. Uh, so he has good manners. He's got <gasps> responsibility. He's got conflict resolution. Yeah, okay. All right, sir. Here we go. Time to age you up. Oh my gosh. He's going through it right now. It's okay. You'll feel better once you get engaged, once you have your wedding, once you move out, live your own life. 
Happy birthday, sir! Our second baby! Yay! Wow, it's time to figure out his last trait, you guys. I'm nervous, as usual. <laughs> okay, Charlie is cheerful. Charlie is a geek. Charlie is lazy. <laughs> Stella is clumsy. Stella is creative. Stella loves the outdoors. Child trait. Shoot, what does Felix have? Creative and good. Okay. All right, guys. Time to figure out his last trait. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, gloomy. He got gloomy. I'm actually so stoked for this. I love this trait. I don't know why. It just like, it's one of my favorites. And I don't know why, but oh, baby Felix. He's a creative emo kid who's just has a really good heart. Aww, our little hamburger boy. Happy birthday, sir. You definitely need to take a piece of this. Alright, let's invite Miss Thang over. Oh no, what's he- Feeling uncreative? Oh, oh no, honey, I'm so sorry to hear that. No one freaking sang to him or anything. It's probably because everyone's broken. Oh shoot, it's 2 a.m. We're gonna have to summon her. And I guess the wedding will be tomorrow? I guess we can just do it tomorrow then. Oh no, but we should probably age up Bruce before the day's over. Okay. Oh, look who it is! It's Batman! Aww. He looks so sad. Let's play with him. Okay, and then... We were so close to maxing that, maxing that movement skill, though. So close. Okay, guys, I'm gonna now go ahead and get her to help Bruce blow out his candles. I'm ready. I'm ready to see child Bruce. I, I'm, I'm done with toddlers. No! He's gonna be sad now because he's gonna think that we forgot his birthday. Poor baby. Shoot, we were like two seconds too late. Okay, let's figure out what this little bean's gonna be all about. <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Childhood aspiration and his first trait. I scared. I scared! Goofball and whiz kid. Okay, we got a goof another goofball. Carlos was a goofball. Ren's a goofball. Yay, it came back. It's made it it made its way back. Okay. So whiz kid baby and Mr. Goofball. Cute. Very, very cute. Happy birthday, Bruce. And you technically had a cake and a party, so if you have a sad moodlet, I'm just gonna get rid of it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, he looks so very cute. Oh my gosh, blonde. Mm, I'm so tempted in making him blonde like his mom. But no, we need, we need a Charlie-esque child. And he had dark hair as a toddler, so. Oh my gosh, does he have heterochromia? All right, let's go into creative sim very quickly. I'm gonna give him a couple of outfits and then we're gonna make sure everyone is in a great mood and then we're gonna have the wedding tomorrow take vacation days take days off school and uh yeah we're gonna get it done oh my gosh wow he does have heterochromia and he's so handsome i think i have a new favorite oh my gosh i love him i'm so tempted to keep his blonde hair but he had like super dark hair as a child or as a toddler so it doesn't make sense yeah and he didn't have heterochromia as a child either but i don't know i know that these are two like totally different eyes but i'm like so tempted okay we have to we have to he aged up with it it's just one of those things that i definitely want to keep so there you go my boy you look so cute I love him a lot. I think we're gonna do long hair on him. I know that this hair is like heavily overused <laughs> by like everyone in the CC community, but wait, did he have this hair? 
Oh shoot, I don't remember. I need more hairs for our little boys, like desperately. But yeah, I'm gonna give him this one and probably throw a hat on him. Oh, I forgot I don't have very many good hairs, or hats, I mean, for, for children. Never mind, guys. I thought I was gonna throw a hat on him, but I guess not. I think I like red on him. Looks great. All right, well, this is what I got so far. I think I'm gonna go on a hunt for some CC that will spice up the look of our, like, children because they're like super boring oh my gosh look at him with a little necklace okay love that but yeah i'm gonna look for more children's clothes uh for the next generations that come because we definitely need them and by the way i dressed everyone in green for i get i'm getting so confused <laughs> for felix's wedding so yeah it's like a green theme oh my he looks like such a little surfer Oh my gosh, I hope you guys like him as much as I do. All right, so why are you stressed about freaking Bruce being here? I mean, Batman being here, you need to get over it. Everyone is getting the persuasion skill. Looks like you might need a potion of plentiful need. Actually, no, you just need some hygiene. All right, come upstairs and use this bathroom that I created for you guys. Look it, he's going to mourn again. This kid just loves to mourn and I don't understand it. Okay, she's looking quite sad, so I'm gonna need you to cheer her up. I'm just getting their relationship up, guys. Doing the little things like their first kiss and asking her to be our girlfriend. Because we need to do those things before we get married. <laughs> Unless they're like super tra traditional and there ain't nothing wrong with that. Why don't you be my girlfriend? I'll treat you good. I know you hear your friends when they say you should. <laughs> Why don't you be my girlfriend? Yay! I'll be your shining star. Aw, cuties. I love them. Be enticing, offer her a rose, passionate kiss, turn on that charm, Felix. Can we propose to her yet? We can. Let's see if she says yes, like right away. I know this is risky, but... Oh my god, he's doing it, he's doing it, he's doing it. Oh no. I thought things were going really well. Woohoo in the shower, maybe. Whoa, hold on, this is so sudden. We just shared our first kiss and now you want to get married. What's the rush? Let's enjoy the moment. <sighs> that we, we're running out of time, love. Okay, I'm just gonna get them to woohoo in the rocket ship. Oh my God, look at Ch Charlie and Stella. They are just like, Absolutely killing it. Uh -huh. Felix's first woohoo in a rocket. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're trying again after the rocket ship woohoo. See if she changed her mind. Please say yes, please say yes, please say yes. Yay! She did! She said yes! Aww. Oh, yay! I knew she couldn't resist this after the rocket ship thing. That was a major flex. Major. Okay, let's go ahead and plan the wedding. We're gonna have it tonight. Maybe six o'clock? If you think about it, in this Let's Play, in the five generations that we've done so far. There's only been two weddings. Actually, no, okay. Savannah and Carlos, Oliver and uh, Zach, and Stella and Charlie, and that's it. Wow, there should be a lot more, but <laughs> no one gets married in this Let's Play, it's funny. Okay, so let me go ahead and make sure everyone's in their correct outfits. It looks like Stella is. This is a public lot, so there, there's probably, or it's a bar. 
So there's probably gonna be like a lot of um, unnecessary people here. <laughs> oh well. Where's the bride? How is she not here yet? Okay. <laughs> Felix, like you're looking sharp, if I do say so myself. Okay, so this is the venue. Of course I placed it in Strangerville because I love Strangerville. The backdrops here are just breathtaking. So we've got a seating area, a bar. We've got a buffet table. Some entertainment here. I put candles in the uh, fountain. Doesn't that look pretty? I found this um, outdoor wedding venue on the gallery and I just made some adjustments. I added the dance floor. Lots of candles. Uh, I changed out the chairs and I added all these candles. Look at how, oh my god, absolutely beautiful this is. Oh, it's breathtaking. It's just fantastic. Okay, where is Kay? Why is she not here? Hello, Lilith. Hello, Rosie. This is Kaylin here. Dude, where's the bride? Oh, what are you doing, Stella? Are you already making speeches? I'm just so proud of my son. He's my first baby that's getting married, and I just want to say I'm so happy for you. Good luck to you on your new life. We're gonna miss you so much. Aw, oh, Patchy's even here. Aw. Oh, Stella, you're so funny. Okay, where is the bride? Look at Ren, though. Oh, and they're all wearing matching suits. Oh my gosh, I could die. That is just adorable. Hi, Alice. Long time. Oh, here's Paul chatting it up with Jaquan. Okay, where is Kay? <gasps> there she is! She's, um... Okay, this is hilarious. Why is this so funny? She's, like, getting ready in the bathroom, right? And everyone is in here, like, helping her get dressed, helping her calm down. But th that's definitely not the dress that I gave you. And where did you get that clay? Uh, there you go. Oh my god, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Her side profile is everything. What the? What is that? Wow, look at all the people watching. No one's sitting though, which is kind of weird, but... Patchy got burnt! Who is that? <laughs> there are so many randoms here. I'm getting anxious. Happy wedding, you guys! Dude, you're joking. You're joking. Get out of the way! They're so young and they're so shy. Well, you've officially tied the knot, guys. Congratulations. Time to party! <laughs> this is silly. And there's someone playing the piano. Like, can you not? Oh my gosh, look at how many people there are here. Holy cannoli. It's lit. It is very lit. Oh my gosh, let's get Zoe to cherish living in the moment. Oh no, she's sloppy drunk. Oh no. Hmm, I wonder if she's drunk enough to woohoo in a bush with Paul. Oh, get it, Bruce. Oh, he's having such a fun time. Alice is over here chatting with Ren. Good times. Oh my god, she's so beautiful. <laughs> Aww! Look at who I found over here in the corner! 
Aww, what a cute bean. Are you enjoying yourself? Seems like you are. Uh-oh, Kay's angry. I wonder what happened. <gasps> oh, crap! She has a black eye. I wonder if they got in a fight. Oh, by the way, you guys, this is Rex. This is um her brother. Kay's brother. He's a cutie, that's for sure. He has a plasma chain! I'm pretty sure this is Caleb's son. Yeah, it is. It's Alice's cousin. Or half-brother, I'm sorry. Where's Felix at? What's he doing? Oh, he's dancing. <gasps> Who is she yelling at? She's like a bridezilla. Dang, these are these guys are just dancing the night away. Oh no, sweetie, 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 sweetie. <gasps> Oh no. Look at Ren. <laughs> I'm dying. Huh, I put on Latin and she does this. What is this not- Oh my, Stella, you were just spinning poi. Drunk woohoo. I don't think she's ever woohooed before. I think they've only ever messed around. I don't remember though. Okay, it's happening. It's happening. Oh god, she's so drunk. Why is it only whenever when she's had alcohol that she like does things? Ew, it looks like someone already soiled the book. Lilith, nasty. You guys are not gonna woo in there. Oh, that's foul. That is just wrong. I'll leave her to it. Oh, she's sobering up. That's good. That's good. That's good. At least she's not like blacked out or whatever while she does this. Look at these ladies chatting it up. Stella, who are your friends? <laughs> oh, you guys are all done. How was it? How do you feel? Had woohoo. Pleasantly satisfied. From <laughs> She has the dirty bush one. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Oh. <gasps> You guys! Oh my gosh! Attractiveness alert. Wow, what a sim. Ren Campos just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at Caleb Vator. That man has so many of the qualities that make Ren's heart race as if it were, were on a cross-country marathon. Oh my gosh! Their handsome features meet Ren's desires so readily that it's almost as if whatever created such a sim sculpted him specifically for them. Now the only thing left is to pick up their jaw and work up their courage to speak to them. Oh my god, you guys. I mean, Ren, Ren and Caleb have always been, like, an option. Oh my god, no, Zoe, no, Dorian, Dorian's your, um, you guys are related. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, but no, I'm ignoring that one. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Maybe we should confess attraction to him? She just chose for us, you guys. Ren told us who she wants to be with. But does he feel the same? Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it, you guys. I can't believe it. So many of you guys want her with him. I completely get it. Alright, let's go ahead and... Would you like to move in together now? Yeah, actually, I would. Okay, maybe not not yet then. Let's all head home. And then I will transfer them into their new homes once we get back. 7 a.m. Oh my gosh, we were partying for 12 hours. This family... This family knows how to do it. They really do. Oh, a famous person's here. I've been filming for three hours. Holy cannoli. I better wrap it up before the the before the recording just goes to crap. You know what? We should get Stella a job. Not Stella, Zoe. Because I'm tired of the Sims not having jobs and we need to max out some careers. So maybe you guys could leave me comments and let me know what you think would be a good fit for Zoe. Let me just r remind you of her traits. She is a geek, she's clumsy, and she's creative. And she's like working on her potion stuff as well. 
So yeah, let me know what career you think would, would be a good fit for her. And then let's head on over to manage worlds and move Felix out. Hold on, is there anything in his room that we need to take? This is all just very small things. And who has your camera? I think actually Stella has it. Let me give that back to you. And honestly, I think that's all you need, my dude. I'm gonna miss him in his hamburger head. I really will. But I, I can't get too I can't get too attached to the children if we're just gonna get them married and move them out. And the way that his new wife was acting at the wedding, I don't know. I don't know if I like her that much. <laughs> but it's too late for that now. She just seems really like I don't know. I don't know. Unhappy. Okay, well, let's go ahead and move them into the house that I placed in Strangerville. And let's play for a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and decide Kay's life, and then I should probably give Felix a job as well. But what? His aspiration is Strangerville mystery. He's gloomy, he's creative, and good. Okay, so this was the house that I found on the gallery by a a Evelyn. It's a family home, so they can definitely grow into it. Um, what are you so mad about? Oh, shoot. Felix was flirting with someone else. You know what? I bet you anything he was flirting with... It was her. Oh my god. She doesn't get along with Bruce either. Okay. So, I'm thinking that maybe Felix and Kylo were, like, maybe flirting a little bit, but she, like, blew it way out of proportion, and they probably fought, but I missed it. That's why Kyla had a black eye. Cheated on. Oh my gosh, this is a very rough and bumpy start to their relationship. <sighs> yeah, it had to have been with Kyla. Ay ay ay. We definitely did this too soon. But it's fine. It is what it is. Every sim makes bad choices sometimes. <laughs> Alright, dear. Come here. I'm going to um, decide your life really quick. Style influencer. You know, I guess that's fine. She's really into clothes, and she's an art lover, and fashion is kind of like art, so... That works. She has a drama degree? That's really cool. Bank savings average, bonus trait bad cook, career choice style influencer, skill learning average. Okay, darling. And she's also a sage, and she's an artist. That's really cool. You need to rekindle this relationship. Okay, can you like apologize to her maybe? Is that an option? Maybe I'll like make them become best friends. Maybe that'll help. And then Felix, let's go ahead and give you a career before we call it. Oh, he he maxed the photography skill. I wish there was something he could do with that. Maybe art critic? All right, yeah, let's do that. He can critique um photos. <laughs> I'm gonna upload them to the gallery as well, and then, um, I'm gonna call it. So everyone say goodbye to Felix. Sooner, uh, sooner. All right, you guys, the family is uploaded to the gallery, and I'm gonna call it for this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments what you think of the episode. Let me know in the comments what job we should give Zoe. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next video.